Hi, welcome to Card Magic 365. If it's your first time here, then please hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be reminded every week when we upload a new video. Now the trick we're going to do today is going to knock you bandy, as they would say. We're going to use a deck of cards. In fact, let me just show you the cards. We're not really interested in all the cards. And in fact, we'll give these a quick mix up. Okay, uh, because what we're going to do is just to pick out a few of the cards. And I think um, uh, some pictures and some spot cards. So what can we have? Let's, well, not that one. Uh, da -da -dum. Uh, what have we got? What about a king? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, a king will do fine. We've got another one, ba, ba, ba. there we are, and some spot cards. Let's go for this one. And I need four of the same spot cards. There's the last one. Okay, we don't need the rest of the pack. So what we got here are just a few cards, as you can see. Let's just take a look at these. They have the red backs. There's one, two, three, four five six cards six red back cards flip them over we can see that we have the four eights and we have a couple of picture cards the king of spades and the king of hearts now what you do is you get a spectator to help you here hold their hand out palm up and you say what i'm going to do is to turn over the four spot cards and I want you to put those in your hand and you give the four spot cards to them to hold. We'll just put a box lid on top there. Now that leaves me with the two picture cards, the spade and the heart. What I want you to do is to watch closely as we do an amazing transposition. And there before your very eyes we have one, two, three, four, eights. If I have the eights, what have you got? You no longer have four cards. In their palm, they have the two kings. And that's a great little packet effect. Practice and enjoy. Welcome to the secret to this great little packet card effect. Now I'm going to show you the basic moves, uh, the basic secret. If you want to include the pack, you can. You don't have to have them removed there. You might just want to use these few cards and remove them from a wallet or envelope or something like that. This trick just uses common magician moves. So there's nothing special about this. It does take a little bit of practice to make it nice and smooth, but it's a great effect for seeing a transference of cards from the spectator's hands to yours. Now, what are the cards? Well, for me, I've got two regular kings. <clears throat> I have two regular eights and the other two eights. So what's special about these? Well, these are double faces. You can now see why I used eights and kings, because this is all I had laying around. Now, if you don't own double faced cards, you can buy these from most magic dealers, also eBay. But if you don't want the expense of buying the entire pack, then feel free to just take regular cards and stick them together using double sided tape. The thickness won't matter because only you really handle these. So that's what I've got. This is how I stack them. I have the kings, the regular eights, and then I have the other two eights facing up, but these are the double faces. But do make a note that here I've got the spade on top. When I flip this over, I've got the spade showing there as well. So that's what we've got to begin with. So you could just remove these from a wallet. You then show the cards and you can just take the cards and note 
that when I do this, I take the two kings, keeping them in the order. I then reverse the eights to say I've got six playing cards here. Spot cards and picture cards. I'm then going to reverse the order of the eights again. One, two, three, four of these. That leaves me with the two regular kings here. Note this king of spades. I'm going to square these up and I'm going to leave them pushed forward overlapping these. And it's important for the next move. I want them to see that king of spades there. You've just shown them the four eights and you say, look, hold your hand out. Now, under the misdirection, you've got plenty of time to do this. Don't rush this. It falls them every time. You're going to give the illusion to the spectator that when he's holding his hand out, that you're going to grab these eights and flip them face down on top of this king. Actually, what happens is you grab the whole lot and flip the whole lot over. Now, the illusion to the onlooker, because they still see the king of spades there, they just assume you've just turned over those spot cards. Once you know about this, you think you'll never get away with it. But trust me, I've never been caught out like this. It's a classic magician's move. So you've counted out the spot cards, overlap them. You say, look, hold out your hand. And what we'll do is we'll turn over the spot cards and I'm going to give you those. Now, what I've got here, and they're easy to pick up, are just two regular cards. Now, the spectator has no reason to disbelieve you that you've just turned over the spots. They see the pictures there. You grab these and just put them in their palm and get them to put their other palm on top. That way there's no movement of revealing only two cards. So get them to cut them in their hands. You can then just push the card across or just slide off the card to show two kings. Because all you're going to do here is flip these over. Now you can either do what I attempted in my presentation. I apologise for the awful way I did it. Um, when I watch other magicians do it, they're amazing. I just can't seem to do it. But I try to do that move of shaking this and, f and using this finger here to flip the pack over as I'm doing it. I know I didn't really achieve it, but you might do it better. Or what you could do is when they've got their hand held up, is you could just take these and just put yours underneath theirs and as you bring these out, you could just flip them over. Simple as that. Anyway, I'm sure you'll come up with some idea. Put it under the table, anything like that. You flip them over, boom. They're amazed to see not only have they changed, but they, you've now got the four cards that they were holding. Now, I know that these two top ones are regular. So what I do is I say, look, I've got these. If I've got the eights, everything looks clean. I then put these under me. What have you got? When they lift their hand up and count just two, and they've got these, it's a great transposition. As I said, it's nothing new. It's been around for years. It's a variation of different moves that magicians are used to. But hopefully you'll practice and enjoy that little packet effect.